Hi guys, this is the Mainly DIY Mom. I'm Wendy. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. Today we are talking about hot neutral wires being reversed, also known as reverse polarity. Specifically, we're going to look at a GFCI outlet being installed and we'll talk about some of the issues that were discovered in that install. What I love about DIY is it's an opportunity to always learn new things. And when it comes to electricity, there's no shortage of new things to learn. So today we're being joined by an electrician named Chris, and I'm really looking forward to sharing this with you. So come along. The, the gold side bolts, yeah. those are hot bolts. The silver side bolts are neutral bolts. So when they brought power in, you can see the black here in the neutral. This is the hot, this is the neutral. Mm -hmm. They have the hot on the neutral side of the plug. Okay. And then what they have over here is they have the neutral on the hot side of the plug. So what they did was they grabbed the neutral or they grabbed it from here thinking this was hot to bring it over to this hot and it's not right. So this actually, this black should have been on this side. This black should have been jumping from here to here. So that's why your whole neutral problem is right there. The grounds are connected. They're connected there, but they are not connected to the box. Oh. I can tell you that you do not have a grounded box here. So we'll have to pull these all out. And what we'll do is we'll pull them out. We'll put a ground pigtail into the metal here, and then it'll ground off that box. It'll ground these, but your grounds are connected to your outlets. They probably just don't have a good connection here. All it would take for that right there is plugging in. And if that, that were to touch that box, it would live that box or it would create a spark it would arc off that box and it would trip a breaker outside. So the way that these grounds should be done is, this is your second longest ground, which is coming from your outside feed. That's yeah. the outside feed ground. This is the inside feed ground, which is going, so if, essentially what's happening is it's coming up, yeah. hitting here, then it's going from here out to other things. Yes. So what we would normally do is we'd take this ground, that ground, we'd delete this bottom one. And what we'll do is, We'll take this ground, we'll take them with Lyman pliers. We put all the grounds together and we tie them. So we take our Lymans and we spin them in a circle, tying all the grounds nice together. together yeah. Then what we'd end up doing is after we do that, we put on a crimp. So we put on a grounding crimp, which keeps that tie tight and yeah. it won't allow it to come loose, you know, because when you start putting outlets and things back into boxes, you start moving wires and you don't want things to break loose. And they're hard to move. Yeah, know? it's called a Buchanan crimp and it's a ground crimp. So it goes on, it'll hold all the wires together. It'll be crimped down with a certain amount of pressure and it'll hold everything together. And then we just push them off in the back of the box. Now we are gonna add a ground to this box so that this box is grounded from now on. We will tap all of that into this and um, we'll rerun a ground out from there all the grounds will still be tied together after the fact. And then you see how these are gold? Yeah. Gold is always the hot side. Yeah. The easiest way to think about it is think about that rap song, black and yellow, black and yellow. Your black goes to your yellow gold. That's oh. the easiest way to think about it. That'll make you, you'll That's... look at it and you'll be like, hold on, I think he said something about black and yellow. So that would be, yeah, the yellow colored one would be the gold color. So they hook this this way and they hook this up. So that's what's causing your reverse polarity because now your hot is going through your neutral side instead of your hot side. Yeah. And that's fumbling the problem out throughout the rest of the house going down that way. Yeah. Fine, all I'm gonna do is put a box extension face on it that's yeah. made for a GFI. And so we're gonna line side this and then we can load side this to the rest of the house. But for me personally, I think it would be better to line side both circuits. So then if it ever trips, you'll still have power going to the rest of the house, but it'll at least trip the outlet here if it were to have any issue with the machine. It had your neutral, which was coming in on your hot side. And then what they did was they jumped this same neutral over to your hot side. Oh. Instead of putting your hot on this side and the neutral on this side. So the neutral, if they would have had these two wires correct, these colors would have been off but it would have been running properly okay. because this would be your your incoming neutral and your incoming hot and then they're using these as pigtails. Oh, and that wouldn't matter. No, it wouldn't. This wouldn't matter. I mean, obviously for someone who wants someone to know what they're looking at when they open this box later on again, yeah, yeah it would make sense to put these in the right connectors that they're supposed to be, but either way you wouldn't want to do it this way because this is backstabbing. And what happens with backstabbing is you can see how these connections are. You can see 
how they can easily, they just move and move and move. So what happens is after a while, you see how those wires just started to come out, watch. Mm. So what happens is there's like a clip in here. And when these wires go into these clips, once they sit for so many years, imagine something applying pressure for many, many years to come. And then eventually what happens is that pressure just gets weak. And you see how easily I can just yeah. slide that right out? Yes. So what you can do is you strip your thing back. It actually has a strip line on here. So it tells you from here to here, if you were to take your wire and put it onto here, that's how far you need to strip the wire back. Then what we do is you take it in and you put it in like this under the metal mm -hmm. and then you would tighten this down and then it would not be able to come back out. I mean, I don't per se like the pressure clips as much because yeah, it's still bolted and it's in there, but it's on a straight pull out. I see. I always like to do the hook. I see. Yeah. You hook it in the direction that your bolt would tighten. Okay. So like if you were running a neutral in here, your neutral would come in and your neutral would face this direction so that when it goes around that hook, when you tighten the bolt, it goes with the way that the hook is directioned. Yeah. Because if you did it this way and then say your bolt righty tighty, you're turning to the right, it would essentially pull this back out. Touch the box so that it grounds the box. That's a magnetic one. And I'll go ahead and strip this back. And you're stripping that just to make a good connection. Yeah. yeah. I'm just making it back to where the, the, the other wires that we have back here yeah. can all still be connected. Essentially, what we're going to do is take these pliers. we made a connection connect to all the grounds what we can do is use this grounding wire nut and what it does is it has an opening what you can do is you can take this slide it right over oh. and then you can tie these on are they always green yes they're green and what they have is they have an opening to where you can let your longest wire come out yep. and what you can do is you can put your hook on here and you can reuse this to go into your ground perfect so pretty much what would happen is now that we made that You've got a ground extension, and now what you can do is you can hook your ground in. Nice. And essentially, you're going to pretty much do the same thing here. Take these two hots, the hots with hots. And what you're going to do, add in extension. Make sure you get a good tie so that you don't have loose connections later and you want to use the correct wire nuts that are appropriate for sizing. Okay, so now I can go back there. So then you remember your white goes to your silver because that is your neutral. That's the wrong size square tip.
what kind of um, screwdriver do you recommend? Um, it all depends what you like or what companies you like. These are Weha tools. They're uh, insulated for up to a thousand volts oh, wow. worth of use. But that's essentially how your system should look. Now your ground wire might give you a little bit of a pain because you've got so many tied together. So you might have to bend it a little bit and yeah. you can take your pliers and you can get a small bend in it just so it'll sit back in the box some making electrical tape and going around so that none of these screws or the wires can arc onto the metal box anywhere because this is a metal box yeah. oh, my bag is killing me. Oh, fuck. this is Chris how are you I'm doing good how are you pretty good pretty good thanks for coming over today and doing all that electrical work oh no problem we're glad that we could get the redevice done for you and have the boxes cut in properly so that now you have fire rated correct boxes in the wall and you have the correct connections and you're not having a uh, issue with a uh, neutral and a hot reverse the, the black and yellow is what always reminds you that you have your black wire that goes to your yellow or gold colored screws on your uh, backside of your plug. Not grounded issue mm -hmm. on the surge protector is gone yeah. after fixing the reverse polarity issue. Yeah, what I think that issue was was your uh, outlet in the um, washing machine room, but I believe the grounds were not tied properly together. So oh. you had kind of a loose connection where the wires were not actually touching each other properly. Oh, okay. So that's why we went ahead and twisted them together like we did in that fashion, and then we ended up putting on the ground wire nut that allows the wire to pass through for the longer end so that we can possibly, you know, we can move it over and connect it onto your plug uh, we did the same with the hots we tied everything together that was needed uh, wire nutted them all and put on the correct you know endings and, and clipped everything back the way it should uh, and everything seems final we grounded all your metal boxes that were in the house too yep. with pigtails so all your boxes are grounded there's no you know being scared of touching a box and possibly getting shot right and for a DIYer like myself you know, thank goodness I called you guys because I'm just learning, so. There's always something to learn. Like I said, I've been doing this for a while and I still learn something new every day. Yeah. So we work out of the 2020 code book so that we can keep up uh, with the correct processes as much as possible. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you again. No problem. You guys no problem. are awesome. Have a great day. Anytime we can help.